What's up YouTube? I made this video to clear up all the confusion surrounding barrier generation. I'll be sharing a dataset that I collected and discussing my findings, specifically the way they relate to the druid skill earthen bulwark. There's a common misconception that the damage increase from barrier generation caps at 60%, but this is not true. Since I'm a scientist, I decided to conduct an experiment. I have two identical gear setups. One is using sapphires and has 62% barrier generation, while the other is using diamonds for 82% barrier generation. My hypothesis is that setup 2 will do more damage than setup 1. All gear in both setups is exactly the same. The only change is swapping 4 royal sapphires for 4 royal diamonds to create the 20% barrier generation difference. I recorded myself fighting Lelith for about 45 minutes with each setup, and recorded the damage values of each barber explosion provided that these specific conditions were met. I did this to minimize the number of random variables that are impacting the final damage number and attempt to isolate the variable that I care about, barrier generation. While there are many random factors I can't control, by controlling for these I can filter out some of the noise in my dataset. Here are the results from my experiment. I'll quickly scroll through the dataset so you guys can pause and check the individual values out if you're interested. I collected 75 data points for setup 1 with 62% barrier generation and 71 data points for setup 2 with 82% barrier generation. Based on my data, setup 2 does 23% more damage on average than setup 1. I know a lot of you are probably visual learners, seeing as how you're watching this video on YouTube, so I graphed some side-by-side -side box plots for a better visual representation of the data. Interestingly, the maximum hit on setup 1 was higher than setup 2 but this can be explained by variation due to the small sample size. I'm fairly confident based on this data that barrier generation continues to scale your damage past 60%, but the best way to prove this would be for other people to replicate this experiment. Next, I'd like to discuss an additional benefit of barrier generation and the way it interacts with Earth and Bulwark. The maximum health of the barrier is equivalent to 100% of your base life. Your base life is determined by your level and cannot be increased by your gear, gems, or paragon nodes. However, with enough barrier generation, you can safely take skill points out of Earth and Bulwark without sacrificing any effective health or damage. I made this chart at the bottom right to help you determine how many skill points you should have in Earth and Bulwark based on your barrier generation. What this means is if you have less than 72.4% barrier generation, you should have 5 points in Earth and Bulwark. If you have between 72.4 and 85.2% barrier generation, you should invest 4 points. If you have between 85.2 and 100% barrier generation, you only need 3 points, and so on. For example, my character currently has 77.5% barrier generation. So I took 1 point out of Earth and Bulwark, and then I was able to put that in this passive for an extra 3% movement speed.